No trick or treating in Ontario's hotspots this year. No trick or treating in Ontario's hotspots this year. The province's top doctor is recommending alternatives like watching scary movies instead. Halloween is now the latest COVID casualty in this new normal. We all know that this isn't going to be a regular Halloween. And the steps we take now will, will determine what ho the holiday season looks like this year. Even if children wore Halloween masks and went trick-or-treating outside, the Premier and Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health say it's not safe. When you have the kids going up and the groups may go up four or five and, and you're, you're sticking your hand in the, the candy jar and then handing it over. The move prompted criticism online from some infectious disease specialists who in the past have called for tougher restrictions. Dr. Isaac Bogosh, for example, stated, outside wearing masks, restricted to family units, distant from others, is about as low risk as it gets. But the chief medical officer of health, who acknowledged there's no data to support the decision because this is the first Halloween in the pandemic, maintains it is a night where children gather in groups and they won't be in their classroom cohorts. So we're trying to maintain those cohorts going to their classrooms to keep our schools open. Students who are not in the hot zones, Toronto, Peel, York Region and Ottawa, are encouraged to wear proper masks, not just Halloween ones. And parents should use tongs to hand out treats. The top doctors are warning more regions could be moved back into a modified stage two. They're watching the numbers closely in Halton, Hamilton and Eastern Ontario. Although Dr. David Williams acknowledges the numbers appear to be going in the right direction. We have taken some measures and we're seeing some uh, evidence of plateauing. We're not out of it yet. I want to share a message with the parents and, and the kids out there. I know you're looking for more information about what to expect for Halloween this year. We're trying to make it as safe and as simple as possible. My friends, we all know that this isn't going to be a regular Halloween. And the steps we take now will, will determine what ho the holiday season looks like this year. We just can't have hundreds of kids showing up at your door if you live in a hotspot, especially in apartment buildings. My friends, we need to work together this Halloween to protect Christmas and the holiday uh, season this year if you live in a hotspot in Toronto, Ottawa, York, or Peel, we would strongly recommend uh, avoiding door-to-door trick-or-treating this year and finding other safer ways to celebrate with your household. Have a scavenger hunt for candy around the house, carve some pumpkins, put on a scary movie, you know, sit down with the, the, the kids at night and have fun. For the other regions, we're asking for additional precautions. If you feel sick, please stay at home. When trick-or-treating, only go out with members of your household, wear a proper mask, costume masks are not a replacement. Stay two meters apart while waiting for candy. And for people giving out candy, please use tongs or make use of hand sanitizer when handling the candy to trick-or-treaters. By taking these steps, our kids can have a safe and fun Halloween this year. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. Sure.